mean free path when the molecules are in kinetic condition they are moving in the gas then it is likely that they may strike other molecules when do they strike and when do they do not strike if a molecule is moving in this direction and these are the two other molecules and if this distance is d diameter of it then if the distance between the two molecule is more than d it will pass through and it will not strike if it is less than this then it will strike that means the collision the moment it collides the free path is over so the free path is the path without collision and the time period of free path is uh, for that much time till it collides so it all depends upon what it depends upon the diameter and the diameter this should be the distance if more is the diameter then there will be collisions and free path will be less so we have a relation of free path and we can write it that relation depends upon uh, diameter and this length length is equal to 1 upon here it is n pi and d square tau that is time period between two consecutive collisions time period between two consecutive collision we noted by tau and this tau is 1 upon n into pi n pi d square into velocity this is velocity okay and this is number of molecules in one unit volume this d is diameter so this is time period between two collisions and what is the length between two collision length is equal to we all know that it is velocity into time period so if we take the velocity here then vt what does it give length so what is the formula of length of the path that is 1 upon n pi d square and this is length of which path when there is a second collision so that is the length between two consecutive collision is given by this and it all depends upon diameter and the crowding of molecules number of molecules per unit volume so this is known as mean free path so for larger molecules mean free path will decrease a lot because there is a square and for smaller molecules free path is very large so this is concept of free path thank you